office slash meet and greet room. We use this room for both meet and greets and of course for our daily office. Um, so it would be nice to be able to have a separate meet and greet room. But for now we are making it work for what we need it for. We use the chalkboard to verify where all of our dogs are located in which rooms, which you will see shortly. The top priorities that we would love to do is to do a major overhaul on our dog play yard. Um, we do have this nice acre fenced in yard um, which keeps the dogs in, but you will see in a few minutes um, the way we let our dogs out is we can either let one out at a time or a few out at a time and the process takes about four to five hours in the morning and about three at night. Um, so what we would like to do is be able to let several if not all of our dogs out at one time, um, get the rooms clean, get the food ready and then we would have more time to spend with training and, and interacting with the dogs. So that's one of our major goals that we would love to do but as you can see this is a huge yard so we have a lot to work with out here. Rooms. One of our biggest biggest priorities is our roof. We have um, most of our roof is in good shape however there's a portion of our roof that is not and we've had some major roof leaks in this room and um, I know it's kind of dark and hard to see but um, as you can see we have the, the pools out to catch the water and every time it rains of course it, it leaks really bad but um, we would definitely need something done where um, this section of the roof to get it fixed so that we are able to put kennels and dogs in here portion of where our roof leaks. Um, the area in that first room and right here are our biggest problem areas for our roof, but if we could get um, that part fixed, we would be in really, really good shape. We painted the floors. Um, as you can see, the floors are not held up. And this is Portia, three-legged pit bull, and Dottie. Um, then we, and as you can see with our kennels, we, we need some new kennels that dogs cannot expect for too long. Because um, we do have some dogs that that will try to get out, unfortunately. And then, um, as far one of our major things that we need are heating and air systems to be more energy efficient. It's a nice heater that we use um, to heat the rooms for the dogs, but we do not have heat in our hallway for our volunteers and employees. So, um, and then of course, with having these little feeders comes our very expensive electric bills in the winter, which we struggle from. So we would definitely love and need, desperately need something to be more energy efficient for both summer and winter.